Welcome back to What, is, what Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Wizzy 132. It's a Chinese Tier 8 light tank, and this one's located on the south spawn of Muravanka, and it's under the command of Dado MGL. And this replay is from 2017. And battle has started. Now he's got a 100mm gun. This is a Chinese light tank that was uh, designed during the 60s but a discontinued project and all the tanks were later destroyed during nuclear testing. It's fast, it's light, but it hasn't really got much in the way of armour. It's quite a heavy hitter, 100mm gun. And he's moving off to the midline to try and spot the enemy. That's what his job is, find the enemy. Well, he's found two, straight off the bat, KV-85 and a VK-301P, and they spotted him. He also spotted a Yag Panther 4. And uh, no other enemy. So he's pulling out of there. No, he's not. He's going back to the midline again. Oh, he's doing more spotting. He's found a Tiger 131 this time. And they saw him. So he needs to be careful. Because he might get hit. And he's really... Pushing his luck in the centre line. He is a light tank after all. You don't really want to to, to uh, have a good go at uh, heavies because you might actually end up worse off. Okay, he has been seen. He's teasing them. He's trying for a shot and fires at the Yag Panther, but it bounces. Okay, he's reloaded. Oh, he's got an AMX CDC by the side. Fires around in, gets a hit. 222. Good strike. And there's a SP1C. You get around on him. Well, he fires one in, but unfortunately, he should have held on his fire because he could have got another round into the CDC. He's got a company now, KB85. Uh, it's good to have some support of some heavies, but there's the SP1C. Oh, we had a good shot there for a second, and he did get a critical hit. But again, he has been spotted, and he's tracked the he's thick. Can he get another round in? No, he's gone behind the buildings, and yeah, he's seeking protection of the buildings. There is a Tiger 131. Goes for the commander's hatch, but takes a big round from a T-3485. Trying to get around on that spick, and this is very dangerous move. Now, what did he ha He managed to kill the Tiger 131, but the KV-85 on his own team was taken out. Uh, by the T-3485, who may have been aiming for him. Okay, there's the Spick. He's behind the building. Hasn't got a shot at the moment. Now, the big worry... Oh, and he can see the barrel of the gun of the Spick. And he is stationary. He's pulling around the corner. Can he just see the, the profile of the Spick? Well, he's hoping he can, but there's a big worry. That's CDC. Can he get a shot into him? Yes, he can. Fires around him, but no, it, it doesn't hit. Okay, that CDC is just in the ridge line. Very bad move because, yep, 218 hit points. Good strike. And there's a Lerva at the bottom of that. Can you hit the CDC? Yes. Got him on the way down the rise. The CDC must be aware he's being hit from some distance away. There's the Lerva again. Fires around in. Gets a hit. He's using the 100mm gun. He's loaded. Fires another round in. Blind. Hopefully the Lerva was there. And another blind shot. Okay, now there's down arrows there indicate that that may be a target. See the Lerva, gets a hit and kills the Lerva. Wow. There's the CDC. Requesting fire on the CDC. And the T-54 Mob 1 goes in. And, yeah, the CDC's gone down. The first prototype got him. There's the, the SV-1C. Oh, gets a kill shot. Lovely. It was an opportunity. He was backing into the woods at the time. But the, seed, the speak was just totally unconcerned about who was to his left. Or to his right, rather. Okay, moving forward. There's still that Yag Panther out there and the KB-85. There they are. Okay. Puts around into the Yag Panther as he's moving. And he's got the Yag Panther now. He's behind him. The Yag Panther's turning. Puts around into his rear. There's the KV-85. This is a dangerous game because he's going through the building, trying to get the rear of the KV-85. Gets around in. 210. Circling the target. 
But no, decides he's going to turn and go the other way, but takes a round in return. Fires a round into the rear of the KD-85, using the building as a shield. Very dangerous, though, to do this, because he is a light tank after all. That KD-85 could do damage to him if he's got the 100mm. And he fires a round into the KD-85, but takes a round back for 203. And he gets behind the KD-85 this time. He's out turning the traverse, just... And finishes off the KV-85 with that shot. That was really good play. Using his maneuverability to outwit the enemy. Right, there's an E-25 up ahead. And... Where is he? He's in the... Next to that Hellcat. They're fighting out. We lose the Hellcat. Unfortunately, E-25 is just too far away to get a, a good clear shot on him. He's firing on the move. Not sure if he's got a gun stabilizer, but that E25 is being rather fast and dangerous. And he goes down. He's taken out by the A44. Okay, there are only five enemies left. There are at least seven on his team. Oh, um, on the move shot. Takes out the T3485, the one that did damage to him earlier in the battle. It's a KV2 around the corner. Oh, he's very low hit points now. Can he get a sh kill shot on that? He's now up to six kills. He's got his top gun. And the KV-2 goes down, taken out by the Tiger 131. Now there's only three enemy remaining. One of them's a Cromwell B, and he's got two kills. The other two are the RT. The Cromwell B's over on the east side of the map, so he doesn't have to worry about him, but he does... He believes that the RT are in the northwest corner of the map. It's a fairly good bet that they will be. He's loaded HE ammunition. It would be much more effective against the RT. They've got thinner skins. There's one of them. The Lorraine 1550 spotted the other one. Takes the Lorraine out. One shot. Going for the GW Panther. If you can get it, it's a Pascucci's. Fires one round in. 107 hit points. He has to reload and circle. His teammate's coming in to try and kill Steel. And he budges him out of the way. He's now going to have his last shot. And yes, he gets him. Takes out the GW Panther. The E25 was killed. Uh, actually, he was killed by the GW Panther, who managed to reload in time. Wait for the cockroach rather than the Wizzy 132. Big mistake. Mind you, at least the GW Panther did get to kill a cockroach. So I suppose that's something. Now, Cromwell. He's on the west east side of the map. And he's just been killed by the 844 so no more kills but he did pick up a, a Radley Waters out of that let's have a look at the end of battle stats for this one and it's a first class tanker for Dado MGL in the Wizzy 132 he also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits he got six a duelist badge for taking down two enemy tanks that did damage to him a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his vehicle a Radley Waters medal for getting at least eight kills he got eight exactly a Pascucci's for taking down both the enemy RT the Lorraine 15550 and the GW Panther a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and lastly he got a top gun for getting at least six kills let's have a look at team scores well naturally he got the highest damage 3323 hit points of damage and that's huge considering this is a light tank a tier 8 light tank very effective though and the fact that he did do damage to uh, some very very dangerous enemies as well during that battle uh, the highest scorer on the enemy team was the E25, the Cockroach. He managed 2,734 hit points. The Cromwell B, 2,301. So it's a good job that he didn't tangle with that Cromwell B at the end because I think he might have lost more of his hit points if he tried. Uh, the uh, winners on our team, the other ones, was the uh, AMX CDC. He managed 1,826 hit points and then the A44 with 1,347. When it came to kills, again, Dado managed 8 kills, the highest number in the game. Uh, more than double the highest score on the enemy team, which was the E25 with only 3. And 4 times more than the A44 and the CDC, who only managed 2 apiece. When it came to base XP, again, Dado highest on the table, 1,317 base XP. Uh, the CDC managed 786 and the Tiger 131 776. 
If you look at the detailed report, he fired 29 rounds, got 22 direct hits, 20 penetration, damage of 3,323 hit points, of which 1,062 were at more than 300 meters. He received three hits during that battle, all of them were penetration, which goes to show the Wizzy 132 actually is a bit of a glass cannon. It's got a very big gun, but it's very, very light armor. That makes it fast. But obviously, if anything hits it, it normally goes straight through. He also received one hit as a result of splash damage. And I think that was towards the end, actually, when the GW Panther fired and took out the cockroach. He was nearby at the time, and so he took some of the splash. He spotted six enemy vehicles, damaged nine of the enemy, killed eight of them, and did damage assistance of 838 hit points. On a standard account, he earned 30,368 credits, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he took away 13,649 credits. He received base XP of 1,317, uh, got a personal reserves bonus for 100% running at the same time, so he took away 2,634 base ex uh, experience points altogether. So, very successful round. I'm sure he's very happy about this. This replay was from June of 2017. It was part of the 9.19 version. And uh, we haven't been able to do the replay uh, recording for some time, but uh, now we're able to get it done and we're very pleased to uh, do this recording for Dado and put it up on our website. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.